war. We can't tell where the bombs that fell last night came down, but these attacks have come to have a political message, one that is not encouraging to those Iraqis who want peace. This morning we were shown something of the damage inflicted by earlier attacks. This was Baghdad's largest power station, hit in the early days of the air war. We were told it would take two years to rebuild, the station director stressing the impact on the city of the loss of electricity. Hospital, water, everything. Everything, it means stop. We are being shown sites like this as evidence that long-term damage is being done to Iraq's infrastructure. There's no doubt that it will be some time before this country can operate normally again, and the question of who pays for the process of reconstruction will be high on the agenda once the fighting is over and a peace settlement is drawn up. But many Iraqis realize that day may be some way off. In their newspapers this morning, they found official sources still insisting that the ground war had already begun. Even so, the response to a morning air raid siren was unhurried. There is still a hope here that the new moves in Moscow will avert a full-scale ground offensive, despite the tone of George Bush's statement yesterday.